Yes, and we are back. Welcome back, the Three Pointers TV. The Three Pointers TV. Myself, the T's. Big up Dubs and big up Marty. Um, match day today. Everton versus Arsenal today. Going to Goodison. Uh, it's a bit of a nervous one. I uh, just want to give you some information, though, from the uh, Everton uh, website. Uh, it just talks about uh, what sort of... Um, uh, things are going to be happening at the stadium and if you just bear with me a second so this is the match day guide so the match day guide um, it does say it does talk about a tribute to Matthew Dolby uh, condolences to the parents first and foremost so it says Evertonians are being encouraged to applaud in memory of Blues season ticket uh, member Matthew Dolby uh, when the clock uh, when the clock reaches 19 minutes on Sunday uh, Matthew 19 was tragically murdered in July while out with friends and supporters are being asked to pay tribute and in doing so help raise awareness of the devastating impact of knife crime um, with the blessing of his family a photograph of Matthew will appear on the stadium screens uh, when the applause begins on 19 minutes uh, so yeah like as like I say especially uh, as an Arsenal fan or on behalf of Arsenal supporters I'm sure and Arsenal Football Club I'm gonna sit here and say yes our condolences and uh, love goes out to the parents and also players and officials uh, are to wear black armbands um, as a mark of respect to the thousands who have lost their lives or are affected by the disasters in Morocco and Libya. Uh, Premier League players and match officials will wear black armbands and uh, observe a moment's silence ahead of kickoff at the Fixtures weekend. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, you know, let's let's hope they stick by their word. Eh? That's what I'm saying. But um, anyway, moving on on to back into business now. So I just thought I'd throw that one in there as a mark of respect um, so yeah let's let's not forget that um, Arsenal have a Champions League game on Wednesday back in the Champions League first game against PSV um, I'm looking forward to that 8 o'clock kickoff uh, so we've got that to look forward to and then it's the North London derby um, so it's going to be interesting how Arteta uh, feels at his players listen this is a must win we haven't gone over there and won since 2017 so you know we lost uh, last year and the year before um, uh, what's his name Gray's absolute screamer I think that was in the 21-22 season correct me if I am wrong please um, and then obviously uh, last last season you know we could have done with those three points uh, we lost 1-0 I'm, like I said, prediction, I'm going to predict 5-2. Um, just just, just because uh, the fact that Arsenal will probably go 3-0 up, they might lose their heads a little bit. And uh, Everton might, you know, Everton probably will get back into the game. A 3-1, Arsenal 4-1, then Everton 4-2. And then uh, it end up, you know, we just wrap it up with a 5 Five to a free goal cushion there, so that's my reasoning behind the whole sort of uh, five two, you know, because uh, that is what happens most of the time when you get those sort of results. Is it's the team that's actually looking comfortable, they're they're breezing through, and then they just lose their heads a little bit. One lapse of concentration, then they find that they're potentially on the back foot, and they could go on to lose the game. So that's where I'm coming from with that one. Um, just quickly, I'd just like to throw in there, obviously, Odegaard, um, it's looking like it's imminent. Uh, it looks like he will be signing a new contract. Um, we just have to wait and see when, when that actually gets done. But it, it, it's, uh, it's good that he's going to extend his contract, so that's fantastic. Um, Vinay, we all know, I'm sure um, he's decided to step down uh, by the summer of next year so um, Vinay is gone as the CEO the chief executive of Arsenal Football Club bring back David Dean that's what I'm getting there's a lot of mixed emotions about that one a lot of people are thinking 
uh, that he's you know he's done a great job, and then there's others that beg to differ. So um, uh, maybe the three pointers we could talk more about that one. Um, anything else? Going back to the noises and all that stuff, you know how it goes. But yeah, um, going back to the game. Uh, Partey, we all know, he's got a bit of a muscle strain. Um, Arteta mentioned that in the press conference on Friday. Anything else? Our, our Gabriel, of course. We'll, we'll see what's happening there. I'm a, I'm a little bit like, I'll probably be on the cautious side. I'd rather hold him. I'd rather keep him out. Um, I know I know. this is a massive game. Every game is a, is a big game, but this is massive. Absolutely massive. I mean... <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if he throws him in there, but he is taking a big risk. Arteta would be taking a big risk if he does that. If I were Arteta, although it's really hard and we need that result at the Goodison, because obviously Man City, all the top teams, have, or I don't want to include um, the Spuds in there, but um, yeah, Spuds were quite lucky to get that 100th minute goal, by the way. Um, 100 minutes, 16 minutes of stoppage time. That's, Listen, we're just going random now. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is all the teams of kind of, um, you know, your Liverpools and Man City's, they've all got their results. Um, so Arsenal, it's very important that Arsenal do the same. You know, look, Brighton, you know, they're sitting nice in fourth position at the moment. It's still only doors, doors. It's only four games. We're only four or five games in. So, you know, let's just see how, how it goes today. But this is an absolute must win, in my opinion. And uh, I'm going to get a few... Uh, bits on, on the other guys and see what they're, they're saying. So big up Dubs and uh, Marty and uh, some of the others and let's just see what they got to say. All right.